Happy New Year for New Year's. We spent it at home, very chill. I made myself some popcorn, watched three movies. We watched Die Hard, um, I don't know which number, um, the Christmas one. And then we watched Bullet Train that came out on Amazon Prime. Not that good. It was just very random, but I guess it was okay to pass the time. And then we randomly started watching Dog that was recommended to us to be like the next thing to watch after Bullet Train. And it's with Channing Tatum. It's about a military dog. Um, that's a Belgian Malinois and I cried. It wasn't like a sad dog movie, if that makes sense. It was like a, you knew the dog was not going to die at the end kind of movie, which is why I watched it because I refuse to watch movies where something sad happens to the dog, where the dog gets hurt. I, I just can't watch it. So, had a little cry because there was a touching moment, but it ends off being a great movie at the end of the day. I found it better than Bullet Train. So did that and then fell asleep at like 10, 30, 11, and then was woken up to fireworks and a huge party that our, all our neighbors were having except for us. Which I'm not complaining about, but they did fireworks till like 12.45, so that's how we celebrated our New Year's. And then I went back to bed, got up at nine. We just spent the early afternoon with my mom's side of the family, um, with my grandparents, and Johnny is just picking up our dog who we dropped off with his sister, um, who loves dogs, but she also has a cat, and they don't particularly get along. They haven't like quite interacted yet. They're just like wary of each other. So we can't leave them alone together for too long. So we just got to see my grandparents for just a little while um, to do Zhebe, which I actually realized, I don't know what that translation is in English. So I'll have the description here. Now we're off to my parents to drop off the dog there and have a little chill downtime before we head over to my dad's side of the family for some more Korean festivities. Every year we have tteokguk, so we just had that at my grandma's. We're probably just gonna have that for dinner again, and it's just current tradition. I've never, I don't think I've ever had a year of my life where I haven't had tteokguk for, um, on January 1st, I've said last 30 years. I have had duck cook. Oh, wow. Yeah. Give it a go. Yum. It is January 2nd now. Ever since the year Johnny and I got engaged, which was 2016. Teen? We didn't take tracking things too seriously. It was more so so that we could kind of review at the end of the year where our money kind of went. This year, we're gonna take tracking our finances a little bit more seriously. Obviously, we always work towards saving money. It was more so spend on whatever we kind of want and hope that there are savings at the end, which it, obviously we're a little bit more responsible than that, but the privilege that my parents didn't have was being able to spend their money on the things that they wanted. They were so used to saving, 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 and giving it all to us. Wow, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> they did a lot for us. They are just now in their 60s living freely and spending on things however they want, and it makes me so happy to see that. The opposite effect happened on us where you know, our parents wanted us to just kind of have everything they didn't, so we kind of spent it that way. <laughs> but this year we decided to be a little bit more responsible, setting some boundaries within our spending a little bit more, and really working towards kind of treating our family as a business. And that's what I'm doing today. I am figuring out all of our spending for 2022 
summarizing all of that up um, and seeing what wiggle room we have for 2023 and how we might want to spend differently. If you're interested in how I do all of this, let me know in the comments and I can make a short video on that. After two days of intense home organization, um, we are treating ourselves to some ice cream from Ruru Baked and some baked goods. I'm excited. Do you know what flavor you're gonna get? <laughs> texture. He wants texture. Jinx. We said it at the same time. I did not film the inside of Ruru Bakes because there's just a lot of people inside and then I got distracted trying to pick a flavor of ice cream and treats to get. But we're home now and let me show you what we got. Okay, we got a pecan tart, yum, and then this toffee cake. That and then we got three flavors because we couldn't pick. This one's called Rico Berry, looks fun. This one is one of my faves, Deep and Delish. And yes, these are Deep and Delish chunks, like from the cake that are actually in this. And this one is, I think, Honeycomb? Honeycomb cereal milk, which must be good. Ignore the mess. However, Johnny has put together a special presentation for us. So our car lease is over in September of 2023, which seems like a long ways away, but the car market is annoying because you can't get cars very quickly. So we're doing research ahead of time. And Johnny has put together a PowerPoint presentation for me to help me understand the pros and cons of each vehicle that he would like for us to get. Let's Convince me, honey. So what's good about this thing? Yeah, what is good about it? There's no images? Oh, God. Okay. See, this is why I said you're not going to bring it to be on this day to not be fragile. You want to hit them curves and you want to hit them speed bumps at 30 kilometers an hour. This is true. I do not like slowing down. It's a pretty sick looking vehicle. Yeah, it looks fucking sick, eh? 
Yeah. Like you could, this thing is very capable. This is that. Ew. Camo it, why is it camo? <laughs> it's camo yes. and red? I think that might be a deal breaker for me. Okay. Uh, this is cost. We'll get into that later. This one, like, with That's like, with the third row? Yeah. I do. Uh, this is my. You think this is going to be the winner? So I, I think it's going to be a front runner. Okay. You want this car. Uh, you just, want let this let car. Finish. Okay, okay. You know so this is a cost per summed up per year. Annual cost of the entire car. For everything. For everything. Including an estimate of gas, you think? Including including gas. Based off the of twenty thousand kilometers driving. Which we don't do, but I just did that because you want to ask me how. The other thing you did. Do you know how much you're paying this currently? I don't know. I'm actually good at that. And then the one only thing that we need to make sure. This is the finished build. I love it. There's so much more space. Obviously, Johnny took up this area, but and there's just so much room. We have a lot of swimwear. Obviously, the mom. And then we brought these back from my place. <laughs> I had these since I was an undergrad, but they're still in good shape, so good job, Ikea. And this is my favorite part. I put it up all by myself, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's so cute, isn't it? And then this gave us a lot more room in our dressers or in our closet. Let me show you. So before down here was just bags, but um, I hid some shoes away that I care a little bit more about just so that, you know, they don't like get ruined or anything by the sun or humidity as much. This one still needs a little bit of work. Um, but it's getting there. Also, finally installed blinds. Uh, we bought new ones. We bought new blinds from Ikea. They're kind of expensive. I'll show them to you. We have to redo them, so don't judge. Um, and by redo them, I mean they're ever so slightly slanted or crooked. Um, so I, it's killing me. Stuff like that really bothers me. And so let me show you. They're blackout ones and we need blackout curtains sometimes in that room. And so let me show you how it works. It is so sunny now finally, I'm so happy. Uh, this is also Donnie's office. I don't know if I've ever shown you his office. It's a little messy. The dog likes sleeping in here. Some of our art and posters that Johnny put up. We love this unit from Crate and Barrel. Um, it was a little expensive, but it was one of the more nicer pieces that we got when we moved into this house. And then Johnny's computer setup. Oh, it comes with this little control where you can here, I'll do it, press down and it lowers the blinds. But as you can see, crooked, like crooked, and that's killing me. So we'll fix that. But we took the blinds that were here for our bedroom. Everyone, the sun is out. And this is a big deal because I Googled it this morning and Toronto has been without sun for three full weeks. I am in a great mood. I'm off to meet one of my best friends for a very late brunch. I guess it's just lunch now. It's like 12.30 by the time we'll meet, one by the time we eat. And this is the best start to the weekend I could have asked for. And Billy is most definitely barking right now. I just got in from having lunch with a friend. And I left her outside because she was like begging to go to the backyard. 
she's just needy. She's like totally fine to be in the yard alone. She just wanted some attention. You wanna come inside? Oh, okay. I guess we're not wiping your feet. Oh, you wanna stay outside or you wanna come inside? You gonna come, come in? Okay. She's so confused as to why you're eating it. Billy! 